ship that is above all of our heads all right. has contained within it 1500 little wheel ships right. and these are what the popular media calls UFOs. Yeah, it does suit. Yeah, it does suit. It looks older, but it does suit. How old do I look now? About 30. I'm only 28. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know. All I have to do is that, I'll be done again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what we have to do. Alright, Rob, I think you need to go moving forward. If you want to get a question. I mean, I could ask a question, but again, like, you know he's already made. You know about shears? Yeah, I know about the shears. I don't really have a problem with them because they're not, they're, they reject the sinner anyway, though. Oh, All Jews. No, no, no. I just don't know who's the leader of the Jews. I'm asking about the UFOs. For capitalism or socialism or any of these to uh. supersede bowing down to God. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. We've got a question. I'll, I'll raise my hand. If, if, if he doesn't answer, he doesn't answer, but I'll just leave it. Yeah, I'll wait until they're done. How are you doing, bro? Here's the question. The question from the gentleman. The question from the gentleman is what is our view about those who claim to be Wahhabis and those who come here for instance and attack us and say that we are not Muslim. Well, what we say is that first and foremost, Allah is the best known. Allah says he will determine who is a Muslim and who is not a Muslim. Allah is the judge. So we don't care what they, hold on, we don't care what they say. It's, it's of no relevance to us. Doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, look, we 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 believe in Islam. Islam is peace. No, not really, no. There is. Islam is racist. The Holy Quran says, and if you knew that, you would actually leave it. Those who fight with you. So if we are attacked, we reserve the right that, to defend ourselves. Show us from the Quran. Okay? Show us from the Quran, bro. We, we, we as a Actually, people, I need to ask a question. We will go peacefully. You guys don't want to answer them. You know, BBC funded. The teachings of the nation of Islam, but we are not worried about their violence because it's very simple. The one who is ready to be violent, he's got some violence coming. All right. Make no mistake about it. It's a law. It's an immutable law that says, as you sow, oh, so you also reap. <laughs> What's that? They lose in Syria and Iraq. Yeah, because they will come back here. Yeah, they're losing in Syria and Iraq. You're talking about the Americans. No, I'm talking about the Wahhabis. The Wahhabis. Yeah. I don't really want to keep my own up for some reason. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I know, but I'm not holding it up like this. It's just stupid. I've got a question. I've got a question. All right, do you believe that a mothership will come and take away the black people in this country? The question from the gentleman. What was the question? What was the question? Do you want me to repeat? The question from the gentleman from Ali is Arab. Ali is the same as Arab. Ali is the same as Arab. That a mothership will come and take away the black people. Okay, okay. Is that true? We're taught in the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad that Almighty God Allah has a vehicle that is half a mile by half a mile in its circumference and its diameter. Yeah. That this ship that is above all of our heads all right. has contained within it 1500 little wheel ships right. and these are what the popular media calls UFOs.
Are you okay? Wow. Or unidentified flying objects. Yeah. We believe, we believe and we are taught yeah. yep. that this vehicle is like a city in the sky. Yep. In the Bible, it's referred to as the New Jerusalem. And it comes down mm. from heaven. Mm. Yeah. We believe this. Yeah. And we believe just like how the white man, because I know you I know you believe in this too. The white man can jump in his space shuttle, right? You believe? No, I don't believe that. <laughs> nah. And the white man can get in his shuttle and he can leave the earth atmosphere. Alright. And he can he can go and look around in space mm. and then he can come back. And do they have UFOs? Do they have like just flying saucers? I like it's a vehicle. Is it like it's a, a is, is it like a, some, some circular flying? Is it like they just like uh, just has an oval on it? Of it. Is there like green aliens? In it? Is, is there like green aliens in it? Is that like just like circle? Wait, wait, wait. It's a vehicle. Is it BBC funded? Mother Earth, okay. the mothership, mm. goes out and comes. Is it going to take every black person? Is every black person going in a mothership? Are we going back to our homeland? Mothership. And that mothership yeah. has contained within it baby ships. Wow, baby, baby ships. <laughs> baby <laughs> ships. Baby ships. And wow. one of these days soon, yeah. you will see hmm. those vehicles above the major cities of this world. Wow. And those vehicles, yeah. they are piloted by black men. Wow, ah. black people. Those vehicles, like they are day. designed to destroy the wicked world of Shaitan. Wow. That's what they're here for. Flying UFOs and, and Shaitan destroyers. vehicles, on the main vehicle, there is a whole new civilization for the hereafter. A black paradise. For the hereafter. Wow. Sounds interesting. White man's wicked world yeah. has been destroyed. There will be a new world established by Allah and his angels and the righteous people uh, to build a brand new okay. world order. Thank you for your question. No problem. Ah, so you believe in Star Wars? I believe in Star Wars. And Independence Day. Talk about Star Wars right now. Stop watching Independence Day. What I know. These are the men in black, the original men in black, you know. Uh, uh, not uh, not, uh, not uh, a fake uh, white man's uh, men in black, uh, you know. But the original men in black. What, 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 what do you think of, what do you think of that? Uh, I think anybody who believes in that ideology is stupid. Anybody who believes in UFOs are going to come and save the black man is kind of stupid. But then again, what do you expect from people like that? I mean, there's nothing more to say, is it? What should they do? What should they do, Bloodfire? Well, they, should, they should repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because that's mad. Telling yourself that there's going to be these green men, or what they're saying black men, but they're probably going to be green, right? And it's going to be like a circle flying oval shaped thing that's going to come and just levitate over the sea and destroy the white man. Like, there's, I, I mean, it's, it's an old ideology. And it, but it's to be expected, you know, when you're full of a larger amount.